right, son. Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. We Good. Fahad? Yeah, bringing up the systems now. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay. Engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Move your torso to the left or right, then try aligning your legs with the torso. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. systems work. Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh, man. Was he pissed? Come on, Mason. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey? Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> 
All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Boy, what's wrong with you? Do I look like the enemy? Okay, take note of your ammo levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. That's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that, just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Well, let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Target. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Acquired. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Well, nice 
shooting. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first... Second mech, both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs, <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. Target. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. Override engaged. seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. I don't like 
this, son. This is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged. Look out! Incoming airstrike! Captain Mason, what's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. Commander, an enemy dropship is approaching your position. I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. God. Damn it. Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise.